folks, we're going to try our audio. Again, I found some more holes that were plugged up with my greasy, greasy hands from working on all this greasy junk I work on. So we'll see how the audio fares now, but um, this video here is going to be about a Case 580 Super L. This poor old girl has been beat pretty hard. The owner that currently owns it is not responsible. He's trying to get it all fixed. He bought this. <laughs> he, old Pete's been cussing the guy because I'll never buy another rig off another farmer ever again. <laughs> I didn't. I was looking at it. It didn't really look like a farmer. It says Medina Electrical unless Medina Electrical sold it to a farmer. And then the farmer, I don't know. <laughs> kind of hard to know here. Uh, let's walk around here look at the so here's the suction strainer out of the this has a Carrero shuttle shift transmission in it and here we go with chunks of metal that I drained out the bottom of the transmission there's the <clears throat> magnet on the end of the plate for the suction strainer and there's all kinds of good chunks of stuff that came out of there so she's pretty well done for, so I'm going to pull this thing out. I've got pretty much everything ready to go uh, as far as getting it out of there. Now my dog's hollering at me because she wants out. We got all the torque converter bolts out. We got all the bell, holes and bell, bell housing bolts out, but two up here on top of the transmission you're going to have. I know it's kind of still a little bit dark, but you'll have a your full drive and that was a what thing one thing that I was checking on this thing is a he, his complaint was when he came in here you know he got this back out he spent a pile of money and time on this thing that had to put a new engine in it right away they had the engine all screwed up in it and then I hope he got this thing cheap and then uh, I did some work on some gauge plumbing and some wiring for him and alternator wasn't charging and I think he's he still got some cylinders to repack and stuff like that. But anyway, um, he's just gonna have a he he's he's at the point to where he's got so much money in the thing that in the thing that he's just got to keep going now. He's committed, you know. Now you just got to make it right. You just you know it's like uh, you throw about 200 balls up in the air, and which ones are gonna hit you in the head first when they come back down? So it's one of those things. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get under here and uh, see what else I got left to take loose. i got to get my little light on my head so I can see. I'm going to go let my puppy dog out. Duke's taking a shit. <laughs> I put the camera over there. Um, Daze, you want out, huh? Are you wanting out? Well, come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Now you're wanting back in the house. Okay, goofy girl.
I put it in, we'll put it in a little better than we pulled it out. But we just wanted to get it out of there. Take it to the shop, pressure wash it off. Let's put the case half and see what the damage is. Alright guys, we're going to pull the charge pump out of this right quick and the valve block up the top. I know I'm on the ground, I'm out of bench space. I like these little Carrero transmissions, they're usually a pretty good transmission. I'm going to clear that. The Zuzu engine over there, I'll have to show you it. Broke a, a ringland groove is what it did. When, uh, and broke the, uh, broke the aluminum crown of the pistons is what happened on it. I think there's a guy up there in, in Vancouver named Neville. And he had contacted me, I think, last summer wanting to do some work. He's a retired guy and he's bored and... I'm going to tell you what, I think I'm going to take you up on your offer. If you would like to come over here and help me. I'd have to get a... I'm thinking about going and getting a travel trailer to put a guy in. A guy who wants to come over here and stay and, and help. And... Put them on the payroll, you know. I might have to pull this. Last time I did one of these, I think I had to pull it. But as much metal that's in there, I'm sure that it's shot. There's no slide hammer, threaded holes to get a hold of it. So if I have to pull it out, get the bell housing off, we'll push it out the other side. That's probably what we're gonna have to wind up doing. But you know that kid, he flaked out on me, so. I was that close to putting a contract on the, because the linen outfit, you have to sign a one-year contract, or two-year, two-year contract for the linen service. And I was, I told my wife, I says, man, I was just about ready to call Kelly and, and get the coveralls with his name and everything on them, you know, and get the contract started and kind of get things, trying to get things ready to go when he got here. And I'm sure glad that I did not do that. That would have been stuck with that contract on the side of the gun, so. Oh, story of my life, I've always been on my own. Let me get this camera over here so I get this belt body. That's my wife, she, we've got a bunch of animals, she raises it. And sell the show goats and all kinds of stuff. Well, she's got a couple bucks and a pin, and she went to open the pin, and I guess they rammed the gate, and she had her hand in there, and she thinks her thinks it broke her finger because the gam gate slammed shut on her finger. Sounds like a 7120 Magnum driving by. Good old 8.3 Cummins. With as much metal as it was in the system here, we'll have to really pull these valves out of here and really look at them. Okay, not too worried about the filter right now. What we got to do now is get it over here on its bell housing on the nose. I gotta get the steel tube off so it doesn't bend it when I do flop it over on its nose. Which that's not too bad to do. And then there's a couple of detent. I think it's these two right over here you pull out. I can't remember. But you gotta pull those detents out to get the case halves off if I remember correctly. Maybe I should get the book out and let's look at it a little bit more in depth. Oh, they're starting with that tractor that I told them there was nothing wrong with. They bought a tractor in a case of room, and he said the suspension screwed up on the tractor. And I looked at it and I said, well, it'd be nice if there was some, but there isn't any suspension on your tractor. And you, you, 
your cab has no suspension you you don't have suspension on your tractor dude it's riding rough well yeah it's it's gonna ride rough he's got tire hop it's it, the tractor's been sitting all winter and all spring and they got in it and drove it down the road and it was doing this it's got tire hop you got to drive it for a while and it'll that tire hop will go out of it maybe check your tire pressures just so like you know i'm i'm not trying to be a dick but yeah i've got so many things going on like transmission these trans now well, you know what i'm gonna do just flip it over like that and leave it alone it's being a real pain in the ass it's out of the way to where it's not going to get bent and screwed up so um Let's flop it over on its nose. But you know, it's just, I'm not trying to, I called the owner, I said, dude, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but there's nothing wrong with this tractor. Your hired hand, he's got tire hop, you know. My daughter's got a new boyfriend and I don't know. He's actually really interested in being a diesel mechanic, unlike the other guy. He, you know, the kid Clayton, he was a good hand for a while, but then he kind of got flaky on me and wouldn't show up. And so I. And, and he's a good kid. I like Clayton. He just. I don't have time to sit there and hold somebody's hand, you know? If you're going to come to work come to work that's fine you know i don't need to be calling you and asking are you going to show today or what are you going to do you know if you're going to be here be here i just don't have time to babysit okay there's that yoke there i got one on the other side too Thank God, Doug. Thank God for Doug Dolzo. He's a guy out of Sacramento that uh, has a YouTube viewer of mine, and he's sent me so many stuff, so much stuff over the years of being a viewer that I can't express how my gratitude for him doing that. I mean, he sent me a a, a bunch of special tools the other day. He, he sent me these Carhartt pants that have the built-in foam. I don't know, some kind of knee pad. I mean, that's all I wear now. I mean, I just love them. I, my knees, I don't have to put out pads anymore. These knee pads are built into the pants. I mean, they're just wonderful. I love them. So, uh, he's been really, really good to me, that guy has. I'd like to meet him face-to-face -face one of these days there and shake his hand.
her boyfriend. He seems like a pretty good kid. He actually came in and helped me pull this transmission and start pulling stuff loose and pull the converter rolls loose. Pretty mechanically inclined. Seems like he likes to work. Well, but he's got a, an employer already, and I don't. I just don't. I don't want to steal somebody away from somebody and cause problems, you know. So. So I'm just kind of keeping it quiet for now. I'm not really even mentioning it to him that I would like to have some help, but I just, you know, I don't want to cause no problems. All right, so we got to get this. Uh, I think these are detents, if I remember right. We're going to find out. There should be some springs. These are detents right here. I know you can't see it, but right here are the detent springs. Pull the plugs out. So, and a lot of times you don't have to pull them because when you when you lift this up, they'll pop out on you. So, let's uh, get the old impacty. I think these are going to be 17 millimeter. guy came in here he's got a couple air conditioners on some tractors and I said, he said I'm gonna bring them in maybe you can get them done today I said it ain't gonna happen today I hate to be the bearer of bad news I got my hands full dude he's as he's standing here as he's standing here in the shop with all the shit torn apart of the work maybe you can get those done today okay are you serious? Man, that sucker is. Ah, you fucking bastard. It's not wanting to come loose, the charge pump. Wow, impressive. They don't usually come out this hard. It'd be cool if they put a couple slide hammers like a pump on an automatic transmission. Can't get a bite on it. There we go. We got her now. Took a little work, but we got her. idea. Get these Nipex pliers. Kind of curious what this charge pump is going to look like once we separate it. Pull these little Allen heads. There's a pressure regulator in here. Pull these Allen heads, split the pump in half. Let's we'll see what that looks like. With the amount of metal that's in this one, I'm kind of thinking probably not too good, but I mean, you might as well, 
if you can save it, I mean, it's a thousand, that's a thousand bucks. So. I think, I think the last time I bought one was a thousand bucks. I don't, might be full of shit. I don't know. You know me, I got so many things going on that I don't, I don't remember all of them. Every price and everything that happens. I hear metal and parts falling <laughs> in that thing. I hear them. It's not too good. Where did those little wedges go that that guy got me? What the hell did I do with them? Did I already lose them? Hell, I just got them. I kind of like these transmissions, they're pretty easy to work on. It's about 18 grand for one of these reman from the last time I priced one through case anyway, but I think you can get them aftermarket cheaper. But you know, you know what I think about reman shit. Sometimes, every once in a while, you'll get one that's so hammered, and this one might be a candidate for it. Because, I mean, there were some pretty big chunks of metal coming out of that thing. Didn't look so good. I put a couple of bolts back in it so when I flop it over, it didn't try to come in too on me. Okay, so where are we at now? Let me go over here to the book. See what the next step is. All right. I want you to pull the charge pump just like we did. Pull the pull up the input shaft to get clearance as you release the snap ring. So they want you to pull that snap ring off. Okay. Remove the snap ring. Pull up to. Okay, and then they want you to hook up to the bell housing like that with a couple lifting eyes. Fasten acceptable lifting equipment to the front. The housing is shown. Use pry bars at both ends of the housing to separate the front housing from the rear housing. As you lift the front housing, continue to use the pry bar to make sure that the front housing comes up evenly. Also, it will probably be necessary to hit the end of the full drive shaft, if so equipped, and the end of the input shaft with a soft hammer so that the two shafts come down out of the front housing. And stay with the rear housing. Okay. So you gotta pull this snap ring right here. We gotta get that snap ring out, which I have a pair of snap ring pliers I was using to pull this rod out of number five cylinder. I gotta take it to the machine shop. Well, I gotta make the small end bushings on those anyway to the machine shop. On the small ends of the rod, so I might as well take that number five in and tell them to mag it and make sure it's not cracked from getting hydraulic or bent. It doesn't look to be bent. And this is the wrong style of snap ring pliers. It might be too big for the holes, I don't know for certain yet. Yeah, those are not going to work. Those are too big. All right, so I'm seeing where some of this is coming from. I was seeing those little tangs. Well, the tangs are busted off the steel plates. See where they're gone there? Yeah, I. you just see it all. You see it all. Uh, one of the sewer rings. 
There should be another seal ring right here. It's not even in there. Or is that where the... Sh no, that's where I beat the... That was where the snap ring was on the input. And here's three seal rings on here. Okay. All right, well, uh, so I know where those flakes of metal came from. I'm getting that, but I'm not getting this. God, that almost looks like a chunk of the case. That's not looking very good. All right, let's keep on going. All right, guys, so I found out where the chunk chunks of cast. That's kind of what I thought. It was it was case material. This bearing retainer part of the case, see, it's all broke off, clear around it. So the shaft was walking sideways on the four-wheel drive shaft, so that's why he was hearing all the noise in four-wheel drive. How the hell do you break that? He didn't do it. Whoever had it before was very hard on stuff. I've never seen that broke like that before. Yeah, all the cast is broke out of the case, clear around it. Where is that one big chunk at? <laughs> I don't remember what I did with that. Here's a part of it right here. So that's going to be that opening, that square notch right in there. Oh, that's right where that piece goes. And them other big chunks that fell out of there, that's the rest of it. And the little silver tabs, that's the seals and frictions on the drum. So we got to tear it apart and see if the drum's damaged or... Ah, oh, somebody was hard on this thing. I gotta find a case half. That case half's fine, but this case half here's pretty little garbage. It's scrap iron. I had a case half and some frictions and steels and put some synchros in it. It'll be just like new again. So I guess I'm gonna have to get serial number off the case here. J.I. case. Let's see, oil. Alright, what do we got here? Our transmission type. There's our serial number on our transmission. Looks like a zero zero grease zero zero grease zero three one or something. Can't really tell. I gotta clean that off a little better. But so there's what happened to that one was obviously carnage. And the one detent in the shift shaft over here. There's one ball. I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. So I gotta find that ball that came out of that one. This one shaft here, I had a hell of a time. It was so tight, and they're usually they're usually not that tight on there. And I had to just get my air hammer on the end of the shaft and then pull on it with the crane, and finally got it to come out of there. It's like usually they just slide right out of there. They're not that big of a deal, but not this one. So anyway, well. There is a really screwed up Carrero shuttle shift transmission.